Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sync up your audio and video inside the edit tab. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Also follow my social media accounts to see some awesome behind the scenes content of video projects that I'm working on. This video is very similar to my how to do multicam inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is just simply an updated version on how to do it really quick if you just have one bit of video file and a separate audio file instead of multiple audio sources and multiple video files. Anyway, let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and I've just imported my clips that I want to be syncing. And I'm just going to quickly just drag uh, one clip in and I'm just going to click and drag and bring in my audio. Just going to pull these down just so we can see our waveforms. So one way you can sync audio is you can do it manually. So I'm just going to go and look at my waveform and I'm just going to zoom in. And as you can see, we can see the spike here where I clapped and we can see that this is slightly unaligned. So I'm just going to click and drag and I can zoom in. I'm going to go to the first point here where you can see me clap can just adjust it that way. So that's one way you can sync your audio and video. Now I would recommend avoiding that because sometimes you can sit there for like 5-10 minutes trying to get the correct adjustments. Back in the earlier days when I was editing, I would actually sync audio and video manually this way. And the problem with that is sometimes if your audio levels are really bad on one device and really good on the other, the waveforms kind of blend and it's really hard to tell where it's meant to sync up even if you've got the right clip and audio and sometimes you could be manually syncing the wrong audio so um, you can be wasting a lot of time doing that so another way you can do it in DaVinci Resolve 17 they've added a new feature where you can now put all your clips onto the timeline roughly assemble them into different video layers and then all you have to do is just select them all, right click and we'll go over to auto align clips and based on waveform because I usually shoot according to waveforms I don't really do time code so we'll click that and it would analyze it and it will automatically align your clips to be synced so let's just quickly look in that's looking pretty good I think we can with this clip here we can do a little bit of an adjustment most of the time this technique will work perfectly. Sometimes it might do a little bit of adjusting, but it will do most of the work for you. So we can make a little bit of an adjustment here. So I'd recommend just going back a frame and now our audio clips are synced. There shouldn't be any echoing or any reverb sort of stuff going on. We should have a very clear sync. So that sounds synced. So I'm just going to mute these two audio tracks and listen to our good Zoom audio track. So that's the new way to sync audio and video inside of DaVinci Resolve. But there's also another way you can sync it if you don't want to be throwing your clips into the timeline and make your timeline a bit messy and you want to make things nice and clean. What we'll do, I'll just delete this for now. So we can actually sync our audio and video clips just in the media pool alone. So, so I'm just going to select on my clip here. So I'll use my GH4 footage and then I will hit control and then select our audio. And now I'm just going to right click and I'm going to sync audio. And there are a few different options here. Since I'm doing waveform, there are pretty much two options for me to choose from. For now, let's choose based on waveform. Okay, so after we've done that, we'll just drag our clip, our video clip in and you'll see that there's one audio track. It'll just basically remove our bad audio from our video clip from our camera and it will use our separate audio device. And in my case, that was the Zoom H5. So it's replaced it with that audio. I'm just going to delete that for now. And then you can also do that with the second clip, you can select the clip and select our audio. We'll right click and we'll go to sync audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose our second option, the baseline waveform and a pen track. So we're going to click that. 
And what that will do is this will give us the option of having the original audio and then our Zoom H5 audio. You can tell that by this little icon at the bottom here, there'll be like a little dot and that will represent our good audio. So yeah, the main difference between the two techniques that I've just shown you is if you put your tracks into the timeline, you can actually have like a multicam going on. So you can have multiple video devices and audio devices and it will sync it up. But with the media pool, you can only really do one camera angle at a time. Anyway, that's how you sync your video and audio inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.